So over the last few years, it's become increasingly recognized that inflammation has an important role in the development of chronic diseases of aging. So this is a new concept that goes beyond the long recognized role of inflammation in chronic uh, high-grade inflammatory diseases like arthritis and asthma and so on. So this is a recognition that there is a lower level of ongoing inflammation that is associated with diseases like obesity and probably plays a causal role in the development of insulin resistance and diabetes, cardiovascular disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver, neurodegeneration, and so on. So there's this increased recognition of this ongoing low level of inflammation playing a role in the development and progression of these common diseases of aging. So the assessment of uh, chronic low-grade inflammation is a challenge uh, because it's not yet clear exactly which of the uh, inflammatory components should be measured as the main sort of indicator biomarker. Um, we know that there are a whole range of uh, chemical mediators that can be measured in the bloodstream that are indicative of inflammatory processes. These include things like common cytokines, for example, tumor necrosis factor, interleukin-1, interleukin-6, and also anti-inflammatory markers like interleukin-10. There are also lipid mediators of inflammation and also cellular markers, for example, activated monocytes, activated neutrophils. So it's possible to measure a whole range of these inflammatory markers in the bloodstream as an indicator of ongoing inflammatory processes. And if you look in the blood of people, for example, with obesity, you find higher levels of these markers than you find in normal weight people. And these markers are reduced by interventions that cause weight loss, either lifestyle interventions or surgery. So there is a panel of markers indicative of the inflammatory process, process but it's not yet uh, immediately clear which is the key one of these markers that can be measured. So at the moment, I think we can assess low-grade inflammation and monitor changes in low-grade inflammation, but we're not at the stage of having the definitive biomarker of that process. So it's well known that uh, different foods, different types of diets, and specific nutrients have an impact on uh, inflammatory processes and on the biomarkers of low-grade inflammation. Typically, uh, healthy, healthier diets are associated with lower levels of inflammation. By healthier diets, I mean things like adherence to a prudent diet or a Mediterranean diet or higher intake of foods associated with those diets, for example, fruits and vegetables, fatty fish, and so on. As far as specific nutrients are concerned, certain fatty acids, certain uh, plant-derived uh, polyphenols, antioxidant vitamins, also are associated with lower inflammatory processes. Most of these associations have been demonstrated in epidemiological studies or cross-sectional studies. Intervention studies have demonstrated some anti-inflammatory effects, but often these studies have failed to demonstrate these effects, perhaps because of the short duration or small sample size of those studies. So over the last few years, ILSI Europe has been involved in uh, supporting a series of publications in the area of inflammation and low-grade inflammation. These include reports that were published in 2011 on uh, dietary factors and low-grade inflammation in relation to overweight and obesity, and a second report in 2013 looking at biomarkers for the evaluation of inflammation in human nutritional studies. Currently, there's an expert group that will produce a publication on nutrition and chronic low-grade inflammation associated with aging. There was also a workshop held in association with the IUNS Congress in Spain in 2013, and a publication <clears throat> based on that workshop on low-grade inflammation, diet composition, and health is currently in preparation. LC Europe has also supported the publication of a new version of a monograph on antioxidants and anti-inflammatory uh, components of food that will be published later this year.